Hero's Care started back in 2003 when my three-year-old and 11-year-old daughter decided to make care packages. Uh, we was working out of our home. We did 13. Got thank you notes back from them, and it meant so much that so we did it again. We did 35. And then the next one was 1,000. <laughs> and uh, it's grown into this adventure that we call Hero's Care. They basically support us, us being the troops, before, during, and after deployment. Basically anything you need down to moral support, uh, toiletries, help with uh, just a shoulder to lean on, somebody to talk to, give you answers when you don't know where to turn, you know, and that's, that's what they did for me. What I found amazing was that an E-133, which is an enlisted man, a corporal, married with one child, will automatically qualify for food stamps. You know, to somebody who doesn't have money to go out and buy food or clothing or cleaning supplies, whatever the case may be, that's a big deal, you know, and unfortunately, a lot of these guys coming back, their self-worth sometimes is tied up as to what if they can provide. And if they cannot provide for those that are counting on them, they view that as a self-worth issue, which can lead to other issues. We impacted somewhere between 50 and 75,000 military families indirectly through the donations we received. We've inventoried and have records of where 1.7 million donated items worth $9.4 million went. Today, we were doing a, a special event, which was the soup giveaway. Uh, we received a, a large donation from Men's Warehouse, and each one of the service members had an opportunity to find a soup that they normally don't have. A lot of new soldiers, new airmen, sailors, Marines, they don't have suits. You know, you come into the military and it's one of the last things you think to have, I guess. You're going to transition out of the military someday. You're going to go through that job interview. So having a suit, that means a lot. It's a, it's a blessing to families and, you know, military members, and service members, you know. It's awesome. An organization like this gives so much to the, to the military community, at least from our standpoint, our command, when they come down and volunteer, we make sure if they come down like today and get a suit that, uh, you know, they just don't grab a suit and leave. We want to make sure they get back. They're always in need of volunteers to uh, unload trucks full of new stuff that's been donated to them, and, and we make sure our guys stay so that they understand the importance of what's being given to them instead of just taking them. The impact on their lives is, is amazing, and for them to come in and to th say thank you for getting a new suit, they, they're just amazed. And kids and fashion delivers, they make it possible. And the donors that help them help us. So the only thing we can say to them is a big, huge thank you. Without them, none of this would be possible.